Mark Rogers TV on the line with another top level recruit. It's Jacob Isaya, a guard out of Bishop Gorman in Las Vegas. Jacob, how you doing tonight? Hey, Coach. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. No problem. Definitely. Love talking to you guys and uh, getting your thought process on uh, your decision coming up. So let's start with uh, your game. You're an offensive guard. And uh, any thoughts about moving to center or tackle? Is that in the mix or those positions that you've played in high school at all? The position I currently play is tackle. Uh, I'm going to play left tackle this this season. And uh, I, I plan to play either guard or center or wherever the coaches want me to play, even if it's defense, I'll play that. So kind of point out to us, uh, a lot of guys uh, in watching the game, a lot of people in watching the game don't make the distinction between the responsibilities of the guard center and the tackle and the different footwork, different responsibilities. Obviously, the line calls fall to the center. Can So can you kind of talk about some of the adjustments that you have to make when you're moved from position to position along the offensive front? In my opinion, the only difference is who you're going up against. As a tackle, you're going against a DN that can be about from head up to five yards uh, away from you. And uh, But as a guard or center, you're just head up with the guy in front of you. So I, I think it, it'd be an easier transition for me because I won't have to cover much ground as a guard or center. So, Jacob, uh, you finished your junior season a couple months ago. You're coming up on your senior season. Obviously, you're being contacted by all sorts of coaches across the country. What parts of your game are you trying to get better in preparation for your senior season and beyond? Uh, during this off season, I've been really working on like my technique and stuff. But the main goal I really want to focus on is my leadership skills, especially since I'm a, the only returning offensive starting offensive lineman and uh we only have we have limited people on our offense and we have uh, a really limited defense as well so i really would have to step it up especially since we're getting a lot of new guys and a lot of kids without experience going up against these uh people Jacob Isaiah, offensive lineman out of Bishop Gorman in Las Vegas, uh, has received 13 offers to date, uh, including the likes of Michigan State, BYU, Hawaii, and Virginia. Uh, so what do the coaches say about uh, your ability? Obviously, you're highly sought after. There's a lot of reasons why. So what are the coaches saying about what uh, your skill set is? So these coaches who have offered me, they said they really like me as an offensive guard or offensive uh, a center. And based upon like my build and my quickness and everything, they really like how I move as a lineman. Uh, they really think I'm a little bit advanced at the game a little bit since I'm, since I'm going to Bishop Gorman and Gorman really prepares you for the next level. Yeah. So that was going to be my next question. So you did a nice job there in uh, setting up the interview. Nice segue there, Jacob. Bishop Gorman, we hear the name a lot, uh, even out here on the East Coast. Uh, people that follow high school football know the name and know the talent that comes from the school. So just describe what the football program's like and, and why it has reached elite status. Well, as you guys heard, it's it's not like a regular high school. It's more like a, a Division One college. We have a, a very... A, really good and very experienced coaches that have, that really discipline us and really put keep us in check as well as help us when we need help in in football and uh, our facilities are amazing and we have uh, 22 racks I want to say and our own supplement room where we make our own shakes for workouts and it's it I I I totally use the resources so yeah Jacob Isaiah joining us uh, here on Mark Rogers TV, offensive lineman out of uh, Bishop Gorman. So, Jacob, now that uh, you're looking at a number of schools and a lot of schools are looking at you, what's on your wish list in regards to making that decision? What are you looking for uh, out of a school at the next level? So there's only really two things that I really look for. The first is a very good education. I really want to be prepared for after football and the uh, the second thing that I look for is having a good relationship with both the coaches and the players. I really want to be able to uh, mingle with them and be able to socialize with them, 
even off the field too. And I want to build that bond so we have a really good uh, team. So Jacob, I've mentioned a, a handful of the 13 offers. Uh, have you made a short list at this point? Have you narrowed it down? Do you have a timetable in which you're going to make this decision? So I'm still waiting on who else wants to offer me and who is still looking at me. I haven't made a list yet. I'm, I'm interested in anybody. As you can see, I have a, a lot of different uh, like divisions of where these schools are coming from. Uh, got, I've have, I have Ivy League school. I have, um, I have Pac-12. I have a Big Ten. So it's, it's, it's really like across the country. And I really don't care where, where the location is, too. And uh, so, yeah, I, and I plan to, to at least like say where I'm going, commit. Mm, not maybe around signing day next year or at least uh, before April. Yeah, we would expect the Pac-12 to have a large contingent of offers for you, and that's certainly the case. But uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Michigan State, uh, Minnesota chiming in from the Big Ten, and really the entire nation's uh, represented here. So Jacob Isaiah, uh, offensive lineman, could play guard at the next level, currently a tackle, uh, playing on the left side at that most important position for Bishop Gorman coming up here in 2017. Jacob, we appreciate the time. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. It's great to be on the show.